the beginning of any good demonstration of the hydrogen boost system is to establish a baseline, which means we have to have the stock vehicle. So the first thing we're going to do is reduce the air pressure back to the normal. We have above 30 here, we're 34 back to again. the normal tire pressure of 30 psi, and then turn the system up. All right, there's 30. Okay, after checking the tires to make sure they're at 30 PSI, we're going to get inside the engine compartment and shut off the hydrogen boost system. First of all, over here we've got the fuse for the hydrogen generator. Here's the ammeter right there. There's the fuse. I'm going to pull the fuse for the hydrogen generator. I'm going to stow it right there. And to shut off the, the uh, fuel heater, we've got the heater hose that feeds the fuel heater going right along through here and there's the fuel heater right there and then we um, have it going back into the, the heater over there two ways you can shut it off you can use a pair of needle nose vice grips just put it right on the hose and squeeze the hose closed so that no coolant will get through there or if you installed a, a valve like I did right down here you can close this ball valve and I have another one set off over there as well and um, gee uh, we've shut off the oh yeah the oxygen sensor we have disconnected the oxygen sensor in order to use our uh, uh, hydrogen boost uh, electronic control circuit and right down in there there's oxygen sensor connector and, and also for the electronic control circuit we have the potentiometer which this one has a long handle on it there's the adjustment that we use for the the uh, electronic control circuit. We want to zero that out to zero resistance. And here's a switch that I had previously installed for the uh, oxygen sensor. I haven't got it hooked up out under the hood though, but um, normally we would just shut that off to turn the circuit off or turn it on depending on which way we've got the, the uh, switch connected. And so we adjust the circuit here. Here we're going to turn it all the way back down to zero because we want a baseline test. We want to make sure our oxygen sensor is hooked up. We have it plugged in out there instead of running through the switch. So it's already back to stock. And now we'll go do a test using our scan gauge right here. Okay, we got our speed set at 45 miles per hour. And we're coming to our start line and we're going to reset our scan gauge at the start line and when we get to the fire station that'll be the finish line and uh, so on this case like that what we're doing is finding out miles per so. gallon on a set distance set we'll speed there. We'll read set, scan gauge. set uh, road and of course we're going to pass. we've got the hydrogen boost system shut off and we're doing this half mile test at least four times in a row, two in each direction, we're going to average the amounts that we get on each of these uh, road tests here. So we've got the air pressure down to normal. We've got the hydrogen boost system shut off completely, including all component lines. And here we are going to finish the baseline test. And we're going to do it 47.1 miles per gallon. Okay. Now we're done our baseline test. We're going to hook the system back up, make sure that the uh, hydrogen boost is working properly. And uh, here we're going to put the fuse back in here. You can see that the amps do jump up, not as high as they should. Usually we're running it. All right. Get that thing in properly here. There we go usually jumped up to about 15 or more. You can hear the engine die down a little when it draws on there. We're going to make sure I've already opened the, the top of this here. I'm going to pour water in there and make sure this is, is full up to the level of the, the top of the splash plate. We've got just enough water to do that. And make sure our plug is back on and our rubber 
threshold cover is over so it won't sort out. Now we also want to unclamp the vice grips. Okay, let's try that again. We want to unclamp the uh, vice grips we had on our our uh, heater hose that goes to the fuel heater. And once again, if you have valves instead, you can turn the valves back on there and over there where I've got them. And then again, you want to disconnect your oxygen sensor. Ow, burn my finger here. All right, we've got the oxygen sensor disconnected. And then we're going to be doing the adjustment down the road on the electronic control circuit. So we can close that up. We can put our tools away, close up our trunk, and then we'll go set our circuit. Well, here we are at the station. I just filled up the tires again. I want to show you proper pressure, 50 PSI, front and back. 50 PSI on a warm afternoon after driving is equivalent to 35 PSI on the cold morning when you're supposed to inflate your tires. Once again, 50 PSI here. Put the caps on. Well, I got the hood open here. We're going to check the amps on our hydrogen generator. Show you that we're up just barely above 15 amps. Uh, that's the way we're going to run it. We've got the oxygen sensor disconnected. We've got the fuel heater working. We've got the car warming up. We've got the electronic control circuit set up, ready to adjust. And we'll be adjusting it on the road. Okay, we have our speed set at 45 miles per hour. Reset scan gauge. This is a post-installation test. This is with the hydrogen generator hooked up and all the the parts of the hydrogen boost system hooked up. Now we're going to go down the same road and we're going to see what we have for a reading at the end of this stretch. We're going a little bit back here, so we're going to slow down a little. There, about 46 miles per hour, 45. And when we get to the end, we'll try to focus in on this scan gauge and show you what the mileage says. Looks like it'll be well over 60. And here we are coming to the finish line. I'm going to try to focus in on here so you can see it. And we're at 60.3, 60.5. Right now the finish line, 61.3. And we'll turn around to the... Well, here we are back home, and we've got the record of our test runs here. We've got... Uh, Baseline runs of 47.1, 47.4, and 47.1, and I could punch them up on the calculator here again, but we just averaged those four, and we ended up with a 47.1 average for the baseline. That's before the hydrogen boost system. And then after the hydrogen boost system, we had runs of 60.1, and, I mean, excuse me, 61.3 and 61.4, which averages to uh, 61.35. So we'll take the 61.35, take away the 47.1 baseline, equals 14.25 miles per gallon better, and if we divide that by our baseline of 47.1, that will give us the percent increase, um, and there's 30.25% uh, percent increase with just the hydrogen boost system and the increased tire pressure. That's with no driving tips. We have the exact same road, the exact same driver, the exact same speed, everything set, and we had a 30% increase in mileage based on that. And no way to cheat. It's all calculated on the scan gauge for us. And we did multiple runs to verify our results. That's what we got.